Well, howdy tubers, back at it again. Uh, this time something different. Imagine everybody was getting tired of uh, something about the cowling. Of course, I didn't say anything about the cowling last time, but I guess you could read into it if I was doing the cam locks, then that's what would have been on the cowling. So, anyway, this is what I'm messing with now. And that would be the windshield bow which really wasn't fitting very well and so I got out the plans let's see and this is it here one side was pretty good that it stops here for the windshield bow that's for the uh for the rear canopy bow so anyways if it it fit good on one side and then the other side it went way out or something and this here yeah can't even see where you go it was seems like it was way out here now it's okay and anyways it just wasn't quite like the blueprint so I tweaked it a little bit and got her, got her going, and so now on the on the ultra on the H5, the side rails were a little wider, so I put a little L bracket there to rivet down to the side rail and then onto the onto the bow to hold it in place, but on the on the first ultra cruiser, I machined these little little square things to go up inside the the bow, and then I'll drill a hole in the in the side rail and put a well. I made them 632 and then put a 632 bolt up through the bottom to to keep this from going back and forth. Not that it really will, but I know Terry one day said something about about that and and of course on the ultra on the first ultra cruiser of course you couldn't tell it because the bolt was in from the bottom but i think they i think they put a little l bracket on the front on the front of there to do it and oh um and speaking of the windshield boat i already made one video and i scratched it because i forgot to tell about remember i don't know probably a couple months ago or a month well at least over a month and a half ago uh james had me go to this guy to get some more of this half inch tubing square tubing because i was going to um somebody had asked about doing that on the on a, in a video well uh never heard from the guy and then me and james were going so oh when we went to zenith i had him call the guy and well still hasn't got the tubing so today i ran ran over to menards and see if they had it they didn't have it and, Lo and home depot didn't have it so i don't know when i'll be able to do that for you guys but uh i, I pulled these um, windshield fairings out and i i'm guessing they make them a little long trim the fit <laughs> but so anyways what else was that oh okay, i already showed you the the square things that I'll put in there. So, anyway, oh yeah, um, I'm, I'm gonna make another one of these, and I'll probably show doing doing that, doing the uh, convex, convolute, whatever you call it, not convolute, but on my homemade uh, English wheel. And I know I'd said something about it in the last video about how I'd made the hubcap to go on here. And if I could figure out how to make it attach, I think it looks pretty nifty. But see, it don't stay on very good. But I think it looks pretty nifty. It'd probably add 10, 20 mile an hour. Nah. But it, it, it'd look good. And then also got to make the covers for the, the wings because I don't like use, putting the screws in there because if you 
take them on and off a bunch of times if you're uh, got to trailer your airplane to the airport all the time and take the wings off. I think those could wear out. I don't know for sure, but anyway, uh, sure getting close. Maybe by not this weekend, by, but next weekend. Of course, uh, this weekend's supposed to fly up to meet Matt, and he's getting his new airplane to him, Zenith. Another one of them 701s, one of them ugly things. But uh, he wants me to fly up and and then, you know, fly back with him, following him back. So I'm hoping the weather will be good for that. But that'll take care of next Saturday. So, uh, but I don't think I'll have this ready to go by this weekend. Because, oh yeah, I'm supposed to go put in the... Transmission in the Chevelle for Paul tomorrow, and I don't know if we'll work on the Corvette too or not, but we will see you tomorrow, and I don't know if I'll do a video of any of that or not. So, anyway, there you go. Please subscribe if you haven't, and hit the like button, and even if you don't like it, and God bless.